What do you want? Mrs. Tuffet, I am your doctor for this evening. And you're like 13, 14, 13, 14? And you're a doctor? Yes, ma'am. I am 14, and I am your doctor legally. My name is Dr. Derry. Nice to meet you. Now, uh, may I come in and assist you tonight? Yeah, come on. All right. All right, Mrs. Tuffet. Um, I am your legal doctor from now on. Uh, Mr. Raspberry had an accident. It sure is dark in here. Let me, uh, snazz that up a little bit. Ah, uh, Mrs. Tuffet, nothing's wrong with light. You can't be scared like that. It's perfectly normal. We all have light in our houses. Nothing's wrong with that. So, is there anything I need to assist you with today? No. Well, what would you like me to do? Nothing. I just want to rest. Well, rest. Here, lay down. Let me lay down here. And, uh... There's nothing wrong with getting a lot of rest, okay? So, uh, would you like me to comfort you? No. I think you do, Mrs. Tuffet. Everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I forgot. I brought something just for you. This, Mrs. Tuffet. It's my special ingredient. Sally's? It's the only bag I had. This. Just take this gun, and something magical should appear. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mrs. Tuffet. It's been nice meeting you. Pleasure.
Hello? Hello? Who is this? This is Mrs. Tuffet. Mrs. Tuffet! Why are you calling today? I need to see you as soon as possible. Well, come over any time. I'm glad to have you. See you there. When you wear your hair down, it's like you're wearing your crown. Wave to the crowd and give them all the way cause you're fine. So ladies, roll your bum fine, wine slow. Wine slow, wine slow, wine slow. So you can shine slow. You can shine you got the light now, you got the light now. Hey. So let's go, roll your bum fine, wine slow. Wine slow, you know you can shine slow. Mrs. Tuffet, come in. I have some things to talk to you about. Have a seat. There are so many things I have to talk to you about. As you know, you look different today. As you did yesterday, old and gray. Today, you're fabulous. You did this? You made me young and beautiful? Yes, I am the one that made you like this. And do you want to know the secrets? You see, the gummy that I fed you last night did it to you. I have a special ingredient in it that make people young again. Now, the reason I made this gummy is for one reason only. It's because you used to be old, but now you're young again. And I want you to explore your life the way you've never explored it before. And I'm going to give you three nights to take advantage of your youngness. Yeah. Make me proud, Mrs. Tuffet. Now remember, you only have three nights. And this is your first night, so go live your life. Okay. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Tuffet. Enjoy your new body.
Rob? Hello, Dr. Derry. Hi, Mrs. Tuffet. Why are you calling so late? Well, I was calling because it's my second day and I want to watch a movie. They just say it's more fun with two people. Oh, I'll be glad to come over. Yes, I'd love to. Just give me a second, okay? Bye, Mrs. Tuffet. Mrs. Tuffet. How about a scary movie? Yes. So, what kind of scary movie do you have planned this evening? Tale of the Scary, Scary Man. <laughs> yes. I've actually never seen this one, although I am a very big fan of scary movies. Oh, okay. I'll do the honors. Sorry I'm not dressed properly. I just, I didn't know you were going to be calling this evening. And, uh, well, you know how it is. I was just trying to get some rest. Oh, did I interrupt your sleeping? Oh, no, you didn't bother me. No. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Are you ready for the tale of the scary, scary man? Don't mind if I do. Oh, but doctor, I'm such a woman. I know that, but I am the scary, scary man. to the bathroom. Uh, where's it at? Okay.
to play the movie now. <sighs> that is so disgusting how I carved a tattoo into her arm with an axe. I got an idea. What? I want a tattoo. Yes, Mrs. Tuffet, that's exactly what you need. Why don't we go get one right now? Let's go. This one hurts a bit. Well, there you go, ma'am. No refunds. But would you like one of our free shirts? Just part one of our favorite bands. Sure. Thanks. Mrs. Tuffet, it looks really good. Tuffet. I've had such a great night. Me too. But I gotta go. It's getting pretty late. And, well, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Well, thanks for coming. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. I have something to show you. You're on the cover of this magazine. I can't believe it. I know. Just look what it says. It says, what's with Mrs. Tuffet? Used to be in her house all day long. Now, exploring the world like she's never seen it before. You're famous. I cannot believe it. Do you want to come to my room? Sure. I redecorated it. Close your eyes. Mrs. Tuffet, you have done a great job with this room. Uh, but Mrs. Tuffet, the magazine's not the only reason I came here. Sit down. Mrs. Tuffet, this is your last day. As I told you, after I gave you the gummy, I will give you three days to relive your life. Um, what would 
didn't tell you is when you go back to your old self, you're gonna die. Yeah, you failed to mention that part. Or Mrs. Tuffet, don't take it to heart, okay? I promise. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I, I just knew how your life was before, and I wanted you to explore it because you always stayed in, hidden, and I want you to go out. Like I was just wanting to give you a chance to live your life again. And then to die. Yes. Why are you laughing? This is no laughing matter. You know what? I'm done. Mrs. Tuffet, wait! No! I just want to talk to you. Go away! <laughs> Mrs. Tuffet, I didn't mean anything by it. I just wanted you to explore your life like you never explored it before. Will you forgive me, please? Okay. So, what do you want to do on your last day, Mrs. Tuffet? Well, I have this percussion set, and I've always wanted to learn how to play it. Oh, that's perfect. I used to be in percussion and band in school before I got my college degree and became a doctor. Okay, it's right in here. Here it is. All right, what do you want to learn how to play? The drums, the bells, what? Bells. Okay. I think you know how to play the bells now, Mrs. Tuffet. Getting tired? I'm getting really tired now. Well, I'll leave you be and you get some rest. And, well, have a good rest of the night, Mrs. Tuffet. Thank you, you too. You want me to just leave this here? Yeah.
Dr. Derry. I've got a problem. What's wrong, Mrs. Tuffet? I'm old. <laughs> Mrs. Tuffet, I know that. I don't want to be old. <coughs> Mrs. Tuffet? Mrs. Tuffet, are, are you okay? I, I'll be right over, okay? Uh. Come in. This is tough. It. How you feeling? <laughs> Dr. Derry. Yes, Mrs. Tuffet? I just want to thank you for letting me relive my life. <coughs> because not everybody has second chances. Yes, that's the whole point, Mrs. Tuffet. I just wanted you to get out there because you only have one life. Live it while you have it. I mean, I guess I can't cry, because I knew it was going to happen. But have you ever had that feeling inside that you, you might never talk to that friend again? I have that feeling right now. Maybe someday I'll see Mrs. Tuffet again. I'll always remember how that magazine said, what's with Mrs. Tuffet? The end.